Welcome back to our Blutter Chat application tutorial series. In this highly anticipated episode, we are taking a significant leap in our app development journey. Today, we are going to integrate Firebase into our Blutter Chat application. Firebase is a game changer when it comes to real time data management and authentication. Get ready to dive into the world of Firebase. Before we begin, it is essential to understand the role Firebase plays in our chat application. Firebase is a comprehensive platform that provides us with services for user authentication, real-time databases, cloud storage, and much more. We are going to focus on Firebase Authentication and Firestore for our chat application. The, fr the first step to set up Firebase for your project, so we need to uh, visit the console for Firebase uh, Google.com. So you need to sign in with your Haney Google account. So just sign in into your Google account. Uh, account into console.firebase.google.com and you will be seeing the Firebase dashboard uh, if you are new to Firebase console so you will not be seeing these uh, projects here so in this tutorial uh, we will be creating a new project for our chat application so to create a new project, we will be just clicking on the add project here and we will just name it chat application. So chat application flutter. So now I will be just clicking on the continue button and now if you want to enable Google Analytics for this project you can enable it but I will be just disabling it for now and I will be clicking on the create button uh, so the process of creating a flutter um, project is started now let's wait to uh, complete so we will do the further steps after the completion of uh, this Plotter Chat application. So yeah, your, your new project is ready, you see. Now we will be clicking on the continue button and we will just be redirected to our project here see the name which we have just created now so here firstly we will be uh, heading up this project to our emulator uh, sorry for Android project so Android application so we are creating the application for Android so we will be just adding the Android so if you want to create it for iOS so you can also integrate it to iOS so you need to create an application for iOS too so here we need the package name so we can get the package name in our Android directory which comes to app directory and the build gradle and you will see the namespace is here which is basically the uh, package name so I'll be just pasting it here so these are optional if you want to add them you can add them so I'll be just adding chat application which will be the name of our application and here you go I'll be just click the uh, registration register app so it will just process and register our application uh, to our application and in the next step we need to download this google service.json file and we need to add it into our uh, app directory in the 
android directory so i'll be just downloading it here from here and i'll be just going to my file explorer and i'll be just dragging dragging it into my app directory in the android directory basically so i'll be just drag dragging my dead json file into my f directory yeah now this file cont uh, contains all the necessary uh informations like apis and um yeah, all the information about our console uh, the application package name or uh, basically project id name all the informations are stored in this json file so yeah now we will be just clicking on the next button in the next button so we need to head these dependencies or uh, plugins into our uh, root level uh, project level gradle file so there are basically two gradle files uh, one is under the hip folder and one is and one is project level so yeah we need to add this file uh, which is com.google.jms.google services we need to add this file into our root level uh, in the dependencies so let's just visit there which is this which is our root level gradle file and we will be just adding our this google uh, gsm and just add the class path and i'll be just adding this and which will the version will be 4.4.0 and i'll be just removing these from here yeah now i'll be just saving this and we'll be going to the next step further so now this is for our app level gradle file so we need to copy this here and we will be going to our bed.gradle file so the com.android.application is already headed so we don't need to head that again so i'll be just copying this um, jms.google services file and i'll be pasting it at the bottom of these and yeah i'm done so what is next so we need to also add this into our dependencies and app level gradle file so i'll be just adding this so, so yeah i'll be just pasting this here and just save this and i'll be clicking on the next button and yeah we are done with adding our chat application into our uh, Android application so yeah now I will be just uh, reloading our application from here and if it starts without an error uh, it means that our firebase has been successfully integrated to our uh, application so let's just wait and see uh, so I will just kill the whole application from here to just confirm whether it is working or not. So I'll be just rerunning my application. So let's just wait and see what will happen. So if the projects run successfully without any error, then it means that our Firebase has been successfully integrated to our Android application yeah we also need to initialize our uh, firebase in our main main function so we will be just uh, initializing it here widget binding dot ensure widget binding ensure initialized 
and now we will be just heading our Flutter uh, core application so we can just write into the uh, terminal which will be Flutter uh, pub head firebase core uh, so it will directly install the firebase core package and add it add to our pubspec.yml file so you can do that by just copying so let's just check it if it is installed or not so yeah see the firebase core has been successfully installed and we also need to install uh, one more file which will be our firebase hoth so pub flutter pub add firebase hoth basically this uh, package will be used for uh, user authentication so we will be uh, working with this firebase auth in our next episode so yeah we have just added both uh, packages uh, by using the terminal commands so you can do it by uh, just going to the pub.dev site and search for fire five core or you can also do that uh, by just typing flutter pub add and the package name so i'll be just initializing my firebase here Firebase, Firebase, yeah, Firebase dot initialize help. So, yeah, now we will be just auto restarting it and let's see what will happen. So, yeah, I'll be just Killing my application again and I will rerun it again to test it uh, whether it uh, successfully uh, runs or not so yeah our project has been successfully uh, installed into our emulator and successfully launched that it means that our firebase has been successfully integrated uh, into our Android application. So in this episode, we have just simply integrated our uh, Firebase, but in future video, future episodes, we will deep dive into Firebase authentication and Firestore for user management and real-time messaging. This episode marks a significant milestone in our Flutter chat app tutorial series we have successfully integrated firebase into our project setting the stage for a feature rich chat application if you found this episode helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates on our series firebase is a power powerful tool and we are excited to explore explore it further in the upcoming episodes for more guidance and discussions, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and don't forget to join our WhatsApp group and WhatsApp channel. Links are provided in the video description. Stay tuned for our next episode where we will dive deeper into Firebase authentication and real-time user management. Until then, happy coding with Flutter.